The pillars of the beers are shaking, guys. We are seeing stablecoin dominance chart actually losing massive support levels. Could this be the start of a Bitcoin rally? That is going to be the topic of today's video. Or is there still a possibility that Bitcoin is going to dump with the stablecoin dominance going back into these charts? Anyhow, we are going to look at these possibilities and it will be very, very interesting. So let's jump straight into it. And guys, before we jumping into it, take one second, drop the like button down below. Now let's go. First chapter, guys, stablecoin dominance. Stablecoin dominance is very important because it has an inverse correlation with Bitcoin. This is the stablecoin dominance of USDC. There was a little bit negative news about USDC, but we did we do see that this is already breaking the middle of the channel right here. And also, we're trying to break the up 20 relative strength index and that during the weekend. So this is not looking all too good. Uh, if we have a look at the um, stablecoin dominance of US dollar tether, we can see that we had a daily close right here below the EMA ribbon on the daily time frame. And it looks like we want to break that uptrend in the relative strength index too. So the pillars of stablecoins, guys, are really at a yeah crucial crucial level and it looks like that it really tries to push right now to break down which eventually would mean that bitcoin can climb high and if we look at bitcoin guys it looks like we can climb higher we are going to have a new test of that resistance uh, most likely today tonight and it's it's quite remarkable that this happens during the weekend because most of the time weekend price action is sideways so i would still be a little bit careful right here for bitcoin uh, because i think there's still a possibility that we are going to touch the resistance and still going to come down because you know like also with the stablecoin dominance you sometimes we get these kind of fake outs from the support levels but uh, it also looks like that if bitcoin can break the resistance right here so break that previous high um, and we can also get a nice sustained move above 27,500 then most likely we will get a bigger push in the bitcoin price because that will mean we will break above in the relative strength index we will break above in the um, wave trend indicator and the target of this formation and i'm going to make a conservative target i take the um the width of these highs right here so we so it is a little bit of conservative target till the till the till the lows and then i'll put that at the point of breakout that would set the target of this formation guys at twenty nine thousand six hundred. it doesn't necessarily need to mean that we are going to reach that level because there is definitely some heavy resistance coming here at 28.9k as that was the previous support but this is definitely something to watch then guys i'm going to bring you to the weekly time frame and for that we're just gonna go to uh let's just take the cme futures uh chart because this one is very interesting this one is not trading during the weekend and here you can see how this is still in the structure of a potential bearish structure so that's also interesting that the the regular bitcoin chart is right now already showing signs of strength during the weekend which we are not seeing often guys so on the CME futures chart, we can still see that um, this still is yeah, losing support, testing the resistance. Also, so far, hasn't been able to break the resistance in the relative strength index. But, I mean, the pattern here could definitely be an inverse head and shoulders. We have been looking at that. So that would be definitely bullish for Bitcoin. But what could happen afterwards, right? What could happen afterwards? And that uh, for that for that I want to go with you to the weekly time frame, and I want to bring out the um, what is it? The weekly. We can do the twenty week moving average, actually, not the two hundred. Let's do the twenty week, and I just want to show you a little bit what happened the previous time. So when we have a look at two thousand ninety right here, guys, we can see that we broke down below the twenty week moving average, and then we did saw that. Uh, retest of the 20 week moving average we also had a retest of the 20 week moving average right here there was a very short retest actually but we also had a moment that we broke back above this level just a couple of weeks and then uh, we broke back below this level so could it be possible right now as well i don't know but if we if we do get a weekly close above the 20 week moving average i'm going to be slightly bullish leaning more to the bullish side um uh, because 
generally that is a profitable trading strategy when you buy above the 20 week moving average and sell below so when we if eventually would break back below then uh, i'm going to i would sell again that position but uh, it would definitely show some sign of strength right here as you can see and as you can see this level has been acting as significant support right now it's acting as resistance so definitely will unlock some bullish momentum if we can break above that so guys these are the levels and structures that i'm watching in the charts the dixie's actually still going strong right here uh, setting new highs just going on the massive rally with the relative strength index being completely overbought so it's very interesting to see what's happening there binance token is also actually still holding in this pattern and we might even see a breakout to the upside which i would say is still very very weird after all the bearish uh fundamental news of binance uh, we might even get a relief somewhat of a relief right here to the upside doesn't necessarily have to happen we don't really have a confirmation of it yet but it looks like that uh yeah we that the markets want to see a little bit of relief on all these um yeah all these crypto also right here in the market cap uh, excluding bitcoin and ethereum we can also see we had kind of a falling wedge formation we broke out to the upside so here it also looks that a little bit liquidity wants to enter the markets and the stablecoin dominance are actually confirming that as well so once we are seeing a breakout with bitcoin it can definitely be a nice long signal and uh, we already took a trade right here with will alerts that was the moment we broke above the four hour ema ribbon that was the uh, signal that we actually want to open a long position and yeah right now that will change the moment we break back below the four hour ema ribbon because that will trigger a new short signal guys that was it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did enjoy this video guys make sure to leave a thumbs up that is very much appreciated drop a comment on this beautiful sunday share some happiness with me that would be amazing if you are new you want to stay connected with me make sure to subscribe hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever i upload a new video i'll wish you all a beautiful day today and i hope to see every single one of you in the next video